Hi friends, this is Dana Cargyle. Welcome to painting class. Today we're going to practice a landscape. Uh, we're going to do some tree shapes, maybe some sky, maybe a little a bit of a creek, maybe a bridge. And so we're just going to play with some oil paint and practice mixing. Uh, mixing some white into green, into blue, into pinks and oranges and yellows and adding some, just some fun color. painting. I started out with gold and then I like to kind of block in my sky and clouds and just some great uh, background colors, some of the horizon and a little bit of water and just some of my foreground, the middle ground and the background. So kind of uh, working on that and then I'm going to really kind of paint over my trees over that. I like to paint wet into wet so this is going to get a little bit messy and I'll come back in and clean up and kind of cut some tree lines into it and um, hopefully a bridge and we'll see how this turns out. Okay. Um, don't forget to have three shades of every color you're using. Three shades of blue, three shades of green, three shades of red, yellow, orange. I like to have my browns and dark colors and the gold and just to kind of muddy things up. And I do paint wet into wet overlapping my colors, which is, you know, kind of breaking the rules. So uh, the more you practice, the more you'll get comfortable just mixing things on your palette and then scooping it up, spoon it onto your canvas and just pile it on as thick as possible. Just pile it on and that will give you some great texture and some great brush strokes. You can do this in acrylic or oil. Today we're doing oil just because it's just so much fun to paint in. Okay. for watching today as you can see I use some really fun colors I kind of like to go uh, off the you know off the rules and add some fun colors just to give it a little bit of a sparkle I like to repeat I try to repeat my colors if I've got blue or turquoise blue or turquoise put that in other places purple 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 I love to use purple as a shadow also and copper and silver with my browns and so I'll continue to fine tune this, but this is um, really a, a good process and it's getting there, almost done. Just gonna add a few more details and maybe do a few more corrections. Okay, keep painting.